September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, and as part of KPRC2's ongoing mission through our Bells for Abigail series, a series that's very near and dear to my heart, we continue to shine a spotlight on brave cancer warriors. It's a tribute to little Abigail Arias, Officer 758, the legacy that she left behind, but it's also to celebrate the bravery of these amazing kids ringing their end of treatment bells. And today, we honor a very special little boy, Kennedy Cloutier from Pearland. Look at his face. He was just 10 months old when he was diagnosed with ATRT. It's a rare form of brain cancer that impacts the central nervous system and the spinal cord. The majority of his young life has been in the hospital, procedures, chemo and radiation. And then in April at MD Anderson, this special moment. This moment signified the end of his radiation and Kennedy's cancer journey now it's not over but these major milestones are so important to not only these kids but also to their families and speaking of quick shout out to Kennedy's big sister Reagan. She turns next week, six next week, and she's been brave and helpful during her little brother's treatment. So much so that Reagan and her mom, Christina, will be guest speakers at the Sky High for Kids Lady Who Brunch event this month. Their story is sure to inspire. I'm also going to be showcasing mm -hmm. more of Kennedy's journey later on this month, coming up in just a few weeks. But in the meantime, yeah. I mean, all of our love to these kids. And if you know a brave cancer warrior, we would love to celebrate their bell ringing. Just go to our website, click to Houston.com bells for Abigail. There you can upload your video and that's also where you can see more special bell ringing moments for other children that we have featured. Way to go Kennedy. Yeah. Way to go Reagan. Big sister too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>